Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu The Wolf Among Us. Der Crooked Man ist hochgenommen und jetzt hat er die Möglichkeit, sich noch zu rechtfertigen, bevor es dem Urteil entgegengeht. Zumindest der Vollstreckung davon, denn äh, ich glaube, wenn das alles gegen ihn läuft, dann wird er gleich hier und jetzt exekutiert. Also indem er in den Brunnen geworfen wird. Aber es ist jemand aufgetaucht, der vielleicht noch was zu sagen hat. Hören wir mal rein. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa! I know my name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. Maybe there will she be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So we already. get rid of him. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just... Do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. <laughs> Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Was? Oh nee, komm schon. Ich wollte ihn einsperren. Ich wollte ihn nicht töten. Arschgesicht. In die Fresse, in deine hässliche. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. So, 
einfach entkommst du mir nicht. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. What he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. Blöd Arsch. All right. So Do froh, it. dass ich so netten bin. Der Nordwind bläst. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. <laughs> you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Das sind wir zu der Persie oder was? Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Wie sagte Crane, man muss was opfern, wenn man hier die Kontrolle haben will. Good morning, Miss White. Schleimer. You're late. Ich hoffe mal, der Laden läuft jetzt, Leute. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <lacht> das Schwein mit so einem Sixer fällt ja gar nicht auf. <lacht> Ich dachte, im Woodland-Gebäude leben nur Fables, von daher ist es ja bestimmt nicht schlimm. Das kann es jetzt aber nicht gewesen sein, oder? Das wäre ein bisschen enttäuschend. Das wäre doch vor allem wieder mal ein sehr kurzes Kapitel. Oh ne, kröterig. Wo ist jetzt doch auf die Farm? Oh, Gowen! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Aww. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her... She was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. 
Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Oh. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit! Ja, das finde ich aber auch komisch, dass er bleiben darf, aber... Saying goodbye? Ist nicht in Ordnung, dass wir ihn wegschicken. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Ugh. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. 
It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, Nerissa. Vielleicht, wenn sie sich besser kennen würden. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh. <lacht> Wer sagt das denn? Also ich glaube nicht, dass die jetzt alle noch dieselbe Meinung haben von Big B. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Warte mal, wer war denn das, bitte? Ich meine, ich verstehe das nicht ganz. Warum ist er eben nachgegangen? Oh Mann, seht mal. <lacht> Nur ein Drittel mit mir zusammen haben Georgie getötet. Ja, es war ein Gnadentod, Leute. Ich musste das tun. Überlegt mal, wie viel Schmerzen der hatte. Hätte ich den jetzt da weiter sitzen lassen sollen für eine halbe Stunde? Also... Na. Oh, 68% haben ihn immerhin lebendig zurückgebracht. Man hätte ihn auch gleich töten können, oder was? Ja, 42% haben ihn eingesperrt. Was? 92% haben das Geschenk akzeptiert. Wer lehnt denn das Geschenk ab? Welcher Arsch ist das denn? Oh, und 21% haben gesagt, ich hoffe, ich habe was Gutes getan. Naja. Gut, Leute, das war das erste Kapitel. Äh, das erste Kapitel. Die erste Staffel. Das erste Kapitel, das wäre ja schlimm. Also dann hätte ich ja noch viel Arbeit vor mir. Nee, auf jeden Fall eine sehr gute Staffel fand ich. Das Ende war jetzt ein bisschen holter die Polter. Ich hätte es mir gewünscht, dass es etwas mehr... Naja, vielleicht ein bisschen... Ja, anders abgelaufen. Ich kann es gar nicht sagen, wie ich mir es hätte... Wie ich mir es anders hätte ablaufen lassen sollen, wollen. Also, das ist schwierig zu sagen, auf jeden Fall. Das ist halt eben dieses Multiple Choice, dass man so viele Möglichkeiten hat. Deswegen hat das jetzt alles irgendwie so ein bisschen, äh, ich weiß nicht, komisch gewirkt auf mich vielleicht. Aber naja, mir hat es viel Spaß gemacht. Ich hoffe euch doch auch, liebe Leute. Ja, ehrlich gesagt an dieser Stelle, ich muss mal gucken, wenn eine zweite Staffel rauskommt. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das mit dem Untertitel noch so lange machen will oder ob ich das weitermachen will. Denn... So schade es auch ist, also die Leute, die nicht so gut Englisch können, das ist echt immer ein ganz klitzekleiner Teil. Ihr könnt mir mal wirklich schreiben, also wem das jetzt hilft, diese Untertitel. Weil es schreiben mir so viele, ja danke für die Arbeit, aber ich brauche das gar nicht. Und dann sind da immer so zwei Kommentare, die sagen, ja danke, dass du das machst. Ich verstehe nicht so gut Englisch, aber es macht es mir halt ein bisschen leichter. Die Leute müssten dann vielleicht mal auf Pause drücken oder so. Ich, versteh, ich weiß ja nicht, wie, inwieweit das ist mit dem Verständnis. Auf jeden Fall... Das ist immer ein riesen, riesen, riesen Berg an Arbeit, den ich mir da aufhäufe pro Kapitel. Und glaubt mir, das ist schon sehr lange. Naja, <lacht> da sitze ich echt für einen Part vier bis fünf Stunden. Und ähm, ich, also soll sich jetzt nicht egoistisch anhören, aber der Aufwand, pff, so wenige wie das gucken leider, weil, ja, Wolf of Mongas ist halt keine, äh, sage ich mal, Serie, die sehr gut geschaut wird bei mir. 
Und deswegen, ja, ob sich der Aufwand lohnt, ich weiß es nicht. Ich spiele sehr gerne, aber dass ich mich da wirklich immer hinsetze und dann wirklich ein paar Tage Matsch im Kopf bin, also das könnt ihr die anderen Leute fragen, ich bin da nicht ansprechbar. Auch Tage danach bin ich noch ganz matschig im Hirn. Das ist furchtbar. Naja, gut, aber es soll jetzt nicht irgendwie Mimimi mi, mi und so weiter. Wie gesagt, ich habe es gerne gemacht, aber nächste Staffel wahrscheinlich dann nicht mehr. Müssen wir mit den englischen Vorlieb nehmen und wenn halt die Deutschen kommen, meistens auf schote.biz, also B-I-Z, dann könnt ihr die ja selber runterladen und auf Deutsch nochmal nachspielen. So ist es ja nicht. Ich kann es nur jedem empfehlen, denn es ist immer wieder anders. Ich habe jetzt die ersten Kapitel nochmal anders gespielt und es läuft auch wirklich, auch von den Dialogen her, ganz anders. Aber gut, das Endergebnis ist dasselbe. Leute, lasst mir noch etwas Liebe da, wenn ihr überhaupt noch dran geblieben seid, so lange durch mein ganzes Gequatsche euch durchgehört habt. Naja, ich würde mich sehr freuen. Und ja, wir sehen uns bei einem anderen Spiel. Ich bin der Bruger, haut's rein und tschüss.